Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions. It's the Summer of Domination. We gotta get a new Farouk, right? This is Acolyte's Farouk, an Attitude Era aggressive powerhouse. Trainer ability at 26k. Leech gems do 75% more damage, and purple moves start with two more move points. Um, and with this training ability, this affects the gem that it's on, not the amount of health it leeches. Um, so just keep that in mind. So if you put this on a purple gem, it's going to be that purple gem does 75% more damage. You're not leeching 75% more health. That training coaching ability doesn't exist yet. Fingers crossed, but hopefully that day comes soon. Links the Ministry of Darkness, matching Black Gems charges moves of that color by two more move points. Love the built-in MP for the tag matches. Attitude Era Gems do 10% more damage and just the one standard set of gear. They made him jacked, boy. This is... This is peak... I mean, every Farouk was peak Farouk. Don't even. Even the WCW one. Um, a couple different builds we're going to take a look at here. We've got some sub damage. We've got some gem damage. We've got some move damage. Going to start with the sub damage. We, he has a double. One is a chokehold. One is a chokehold in the air. Makes sense. Um, red 2, the belly to back suplex. 6 MP. Deal 170,669 damage. And she's a 3 by 2 area to swap into black gems. Black 1, the Elevated Chokehold 8 MP submission, generate 24 random submission gems, and do 487,452 damage, pardon me, for 3 turns. While submission gems are on the gem board, remaining submission gems turn into column break gems. And Black 2, Chokehold, 7 MP submission, generate 20 random submission gems, and do 388,193 damage for 3 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into row break gems. So for this, we're going full super sub. Butch for red MP, zombie Kevin Owens for 3 more turns, and 20% more damage to the black gems. Rocky Johnson for 50% more for the black subs and one more turn. If you got Logan Paul, this would be a spot to use him. He is the universal sub coach. As it stands, we are going to use Santa Hogan for the flat 3450 gem damage because the board's going to go boom. So we're going to use him and one MP as well. For the belt, I'm aware we're doing a super sub build, but we are not using a plate because I don't really care. We're just doing this for the sub damage. You could use... Um, a gremlin's ears for his primary color. You could do a Rhonda's jacket for the black gems. Primary color would probably be the best thing here. Um, with him and the subplates, he he has the three color moves are all associated with a different subplate. So you could use the gremlin's ears. You could use the Rhonda's jacket. You could use the all heart, and one of his gems would benefit from that. There is an ultimate skill plate coming out this weekend. Description not found, um, but it does affect gem damage from a sub so stay tuned as it stands we have the 30 percent gem damage preview strap two sets of fury twos how quick can we melt our partner justin bradshaw he is chiseled chiseled from granite all right so a three by two to swap into black gems we get the choice up top is usually the safest. And then doesn't really matter what order in which you hit the subs first. So we're going to do the elevated chokehold. Uh, we're doing 731,000 damage for seven turns. And uh, he had just about 16 million health to start. So. Down to ten and a half, and now we're doing 582,000 for seven turns. So we got one that leaves columns, one that leaves row breaks. Mm, 
Now the fun thing is going to be, do we have a match? And uh, we do. Board goes boom. 1.4 mil. We've taken about 11 million health off of him. And we will continue to do so. Yeah, really strong submission. Really strong submission. If you have Logan Paul, it'll be even stronger. And that's without a gem damage plate, you could easily attach one of those as well and get more from it when you go to break your gems. Uh, but that is the sub damage build. Let's go look at a gem damage build. Next build we're going to take a look at brings in the finisher and the green moves. The finisher is the dominator 10 MP deal. 1 million, I repeat. 1 million, 867,000, 40 damage. And choose a 4x4 area to swap into green gems. Uh, green won the leaping shoulder block 7 MP, deal 187,592 damage. And choose 9 gems to make into red gems. And green 2, the snap scoop power slam 7 MP, deal 297,296 damage, plus 198,000 518 bonus damage for every red gem. So massive finisher damage um, in terms of move damage base. We will do a different build with that move damage. For this, we're going to stick with the gem damage. Steel for green MP. Piper Niven for 40% to the red gems and plus two red MP. Snoop for 20% to the red gems. The 20% is way more valuable than the flat 12,000 in this scenario just because of how high the base is. Um, and I'm using Santa Hogan because I need the extra MP for the green moves. So I'm getting the plus one from him. For the belt, sticking with the full fury. So 145% to our green gem, our red gems, pardon me. And we're using the Santa's Muscles plates. Whenever you break three or more red gems, get three green move points at the end of your turn. There may be scenarios where you can hit that bonus damage move twice. Um, but it's a bailout just in case. So... I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Yeah, let's just put these out first to show what the bonus damage does. Um, kind of crappy options here. So we'll do that. And then 608,000 bonus damage for every red gem. That's 6.8 mil. And I see that I've borked this already. There's the green MP. Now, I would do that, but I've made it so I cascade, so I'm going to just hit the finisher. Y'all see what I was trying to do, but messed it up to the surprise of nobody. Um, at 2.8. And he's a showboat, so he didn't kick out. But in, at 6 star, you choose 9 red gems, so if you want to do something like the 5 match, 3 match to hit the bonus damage again, depending on your pin bar, you have the room to do so. Um, let's go take a look at one more gem damage build before we get into the move. Next build we're going to take a look at brings back the submission moves and brings in the 6 star move, which is the Thrust Spine Buster, 7 MP. Deal 192,968 damage and choose two gems to make into two turn juggernaut gems that will deal 99,259 bonus damage for every row break gem on every countdown turn and destroy 12 random column break gems at the end of the countdown. Entourage for this, Woods for Black MP, Slick Rick for all gem damage. Uh, keeping on Snoop just because he's the primary color, keeping Santa for that plus one MP and the 3450 to all of our gems. For the belt, Fury 2's 30% gem damage bonus, 
Gremlin's Ears skill plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your red and blue gem damage by 100% for two turns. Trying to hit that primary color. And the new T5 skill plate, Aug 2023 for Rook Description. Description currently missing, but it is the Seal of the Acolytes Ultimate Plate. Have no fear, your girl is here. Whenever you generate six or more submission gems, increase all your gem damage by 50% for one turn. And it's an ultimate plate, so not taking up any room. Um, so let's see how this looks. New plate. All right, so start by putting out your juggernaut gems. My safe go-to is always on loot boxes. And then you're going to do your bonus damage for row break gem first. So make sure you put out the sub that has row breaks. They make it really easy for you because that one's 7 MP and that one's 8. So this one's ready and that one's not. Thank you. It's fairly idiot proof. I'm going to go ahead and put out those. Get our bonus damage, 1.38. Gonna put out these. And then the next tick of the Juggernaut gems is going to destroy random column break. Now the issue is he's kind of close. And he didn't pin us. But that would be the fear is if he pinned us and then we got to start swiping like an SOB. Uh, but three mil destroying basically the entire board. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, but I don't think that's the build. I don't think that's the build. Let's let's go let's go big. Let's go move damage. Last build we're going to take a look at is move damage focused. We're bringing back the dominator, which again, 1.8 million base damage at six star bronze, running the leaping shoulder block to choose our red gems. And bringing in the five star move, which is the short arm clothesline, four MP, deal 509,887 damage, and choose a two by two area to make into one turn countdown gems that will deal 681,187 damage and increase your red MP by three. Entourage for this. Steel for green MP. We're using Santa for that plus one. He's a 7 MP guy, so keep that in mind. Tech Damien Priest for 150% to the finisher. And Tech Brett, I finally did it. He is 26k. Red finishers do 50% more damage. So we're at 5.6 million before we even take a look at the belt. And the belt, I unfortunately do not have a takedown to red percent yet. So we're going with a half takedown, half takedown twos. And the NWO tested loyalty plate. Whenever you break six or more red gems, increase your red move damage by 75% for two turns. So let's see what this does. Okay, so the short arm clothesline is at 1.7. And the finisher is at 10.2. Nothing fancy here. We're going to do... I just need to do a four match, three match, don't we? Okay, maybe it's a little fancy. Because we need to break six red gems. But we don't have the MP on a match. So I'm a little worried. Um, so now this is doing 2.1. Let's go ahead and put those. It's not going to matter where we put them because he's dead. Um, 11,666,500 damage on the finisher. And to choose a 4x4 four four to swap into green gems if that wasn't enough for you, so... He gone. One, two, three, he gone. 
That's it. He did. Let's wrap things up. So that concludes our first look at Farouk, the Acolyte's aggressive attitude era powerhouse. Again, trainer ability, 26k. Purple moves start with two more move points, and leech gems do 75% more damage. Link's Ministry of Darkness. Matching black gems charge moves of that color by two more move points. Attitude era gems do 10% more damage. Just the one standard set of gear. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Um, that's a fun finisher. Probably going to be seeing a shift considering we have six star silver health pools now. I know a lot of us, myself included, we're like, okay, it's going to be a jam damage meta. But when you bring someone that pops an 11 million finisher... It gets interesting. So <laughs> I'm curious to hear what you guys think um, about Farouk himself, about the move damage scaling up in the six star silver meta. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Do you think we're going to see the rest of the nation this month? I certainly hope so. Um, anything else you want to talk about? Hit me up in the comments of the YouTube video or on my Discord server. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.